Well, this is a model railway video with a difference <clears throat> because there's no model railway in it. Uh, I'm conscious that I've not touched my Hornby Dublo for way, way, way too long and I've not even thought about whether I'm going to have a ground level one or not. But, as you can see, I'm busy. I'm mixing concrete, I'm putting in a base for a log store and <clears throat> fortunately when we acquired this property there was a couple of, uh, couple of bags of 10mm ballast which is what I'm using but I keep trundling backwards and forwards through here with me barra to get the ballast and the thought went through my head this is possibly the spot where possibly one day one day <laughs> we could have a railway terminus here and looking around me there's these oak trees growing these trees, you know, if you look along the tree line here, there's a, a pear tree and there are all these wonderful tall um, pine trees of various types and there's a fruit tree and there are no oak trees at all. The nearest oak tree is oh, half a mile, a mile in that general direction, but acorns get picked up here by birds and in particular a bird that you and I would think of as a blue jay but here it's called un jay du chen because it's famous for picking up acorns and dropping them and forgetting where they dropped them with the result that there's little oak trees growing pretty much everywhere around this bit of my garden. Now, I'm going to leave them to grow. I'm going to cut round them and let them do their thing because, you know, what the world needs is trees. What I need is firewood in 10 years time when I'm old and can't afford to buy any. So we'll let those grow and I was thinking we could build perhaps a, a little engine shed there when all the sand has gone and all the other detritus. And we could call it, unless someone has already used the name, Oakwood Common, couldn't we? We could do. Unless anyone has already used that name for an engine shed on their model railway layout. <clears throat> 